Hey, thanks for checking out my video on my do-it-yourself 40 button box. This is uh, for iRacing specifically, I mean it, it'll work on anything. Uh, but it's a box I built for all my car controls and iRacing, uh, primarily set for the oval stuff, NASCAR. Uh, but it's all the buttons I thought I actually needed to be able to do this effectively. Um, instead of having them spread out over a bunch of different um, different devices, I decided to go ahead and just do one massive button box. Um, but uh, it's totally do it yourself. This is one of the uh, medicine boxes from like Walmart. Usually you get them for ten bucks or so. This is one of the ones that has the lock on it and the tumblers. Uh, but I use this as a basis because it was a box and it was about the right size. Um, inside of it's all the electronics, obviously, because that makes more sense than being on the outside. Um, try to ignore my shitty wiring job. I really just wanted to make it work more than try to make it presentable. I'll probably only open this thing a handful of times going forward. Um, but it's running on um, an Arduino Pro Mini. Um, I initially did try to just use an Uno, but I didn't like how Windows didn't recognize it as a controller. Um, that's apparently um, exclusive to like the Leonardo and the Pro Mini, so I went with the Pro Mini because it had enough connections. I did initially try to do some LEDs off of this um, through SimHub, but I found it to be unreliable, so um, I had to nix that. But the box itself is definitely um, everything I wanted. Uh, you can see the button matrix wiring. Um, that's the method that you have to use for these Arduinos to be able to get more than 12 buttons beyond the uh, pinouts on the board itself. So uh, that's why I did uh, five rows, eight or five columns, eight rows, gave me 40 buttons, everything I needed, plus a couple extra. Um, I did drop some uh, stainless steel stock that I had laying around to add some weight to it. Um, and then the base is from a monitor that um, I have mounted on a stand now as a part of my display, so I don't need this one, the mount. So I just mounted it down with some rivets and hot glue and all that stuff to make it sturdy. It's really stable. Um, this is a piece of plastic. Um, that I have uh, riveted to the front of this box um, to provide me a better surface to mount the buttons onto and to be able to do graphics. Um, I printed all, all of this got printed out. It came out pretty nice. But uh, yeah, it all went together pretty smoothly. The Arduino through SimHub was decently easy to program initially. I did obviously have to tailor some bunch of code to do some other stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, this works great. I actually ran some races with it last night. I was really impressed and then uh, That's the next one that I'm working on a little bit bigger a little bit more spread out But same function and then I'll try to pretty up the back better. I'm not gonna have it just be all crazy, but I will um, Get it mounted and try to make it look presentable, but function is always obviously more important I would like to see these boxes last forever and Carry on with me through my gaming career and the different different manifestations that may take I'll make um, separate labels so that I can just drop in new plates over the top of that to do for different functions but yep that's the jam um, roughly um, this one with the box was probably probably about 35 40 bucks and then the same kind of th thing on that one about 40 bucks I used some shit that I had laying around if I had to buy everything for this one this one would probably been 50 or a little bit higher to buy the box and then um, I think you can get this iPad stand for like 20 bucks on Amazon So that's what that one is, but so I want to keep it short and sweet Just show you what you can do with an Ardu Arduino Pro Mini as far as um, trying to control your gamings and of course um, Without any code whatsoever you could pl plug this box into any Windows based PC and it'll just automatically Identify it as a gaming controller and it'll be able to be used so good deal on the Arduino Pro Minis so, but thanks for watching. If you have any comments, drop them in the uh, comment section and I'll try to get back to you. Thanks a lot.